who would be a candidate for laser resurfacing? The ideal candidate for laser resurfacing is somebody who has early facial aging, often sun damage, sometimes a smoker, so somebody who has mild to moderate and sometimes even severe wrinkles. Okay, um, okay so this is the 23-7, this is a topical numbing. So I'm just gonna put this all over your face and we're gonna keep it on you for about 30 minutes. Maybe a little longer, but 30 minutes is ideal. And now help take the edge off. Good. There's external eye shields and then there's also the internal eye shields. And if we put the internal ones in, we'll put some numbing drops in your eyes as well. And then they're really easy to get in. We do that pretty often. Okay, so there's the cold. I'm going to put these shields on your eyes and also keep your eyelids closed. And if at any time you're worried that the, you know, that the eyes aren't well protected, you just let me know. I'll do the first pass on your cheek. Christine, I'm going to have you turn your head this way. Wherever you're comfortable. That you're probably fine there. Okay, here we go. Is that okay? Comfortable? Steve, can you see the red dot? I will. I'm, I'm getting another shot. So. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn your head again, Christine. You doing okay? Pain is okay? Yeah, it's good. Good. It's good pain, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it's not yet. That's really a pretty tolerable laser, and on these settings, kind of medium settings, patients really do very well. I notice the patient is actually smiling. I mean, that's a great <laughs> sign, isn't it? And talking to us. And talking to us. So again, you probably went back to work. How many days do you think after the last treatment? Now, what will people expect after a treatment happens? What would they... So the, so the first couple... So we're going to put a bunch of gooey ointment on the face. In the first, oh, three, four days, you have to use a lot of that gooey ointment to keep the face from drying. The first two days are really the worst as far as redness and swelling. And this is a real laser, so she'll get a little bit of pinpoint bleeding. She'll get redness. She'll get swelling. The pain really isn't too bad. There, there really isn't that much pain unless the skin dries out. So you really have to work to keep the skin from drying out. So now I'm gonna change the pattern of the laser to come across the nose. And it's nice because this laser lets me do that while without really pausing the treatment otherwise. And we'll, we'll use two passes because there is this pattern of dots and to minimize the chance that the pattern becomes visible on the skin afterwards, which can happen, I think, especially with melasma patients. You, you try to overlap it a little bit. So the main indication for Christine's laser is melasma, the patchy pigmentation. Just a little bit of acne scarring also, mild stuff. If you're getting the procedure more than once, doctor, how much time between each one? Typically six to eight weeks, what we look for is sort of a, a resolution in the redness and that most patients are, are, you know, red for two to three weeks and you'll have trace redness even after that. Mm -hmm. So you want to see that go away. This tube has refrigerated air that's blowing a pretty good blast of cold air on the face and that helps us, you know, keep it comfortable so we can keep doing everything we need to do. Come by your cheek. And so these metal shields are obviously important because as we get near the eyes, we don't want the laser going into the eyes. If we want to treat the eyelids, then we can actually put metal shields directly on the eyeball with some numbing medicine, which is surprisingly easy to tolerate. And then I can treat the eyelids very aggressively. We did that last time, right, Christine? Yeah, we didn't put the shields in, but we did the quick surface on the eyelid. Which I think makes a big difference. Basically, if you're here and you're going through all the recovery, it's nice to be thorough.
I'm gonna treat the, the nose here. Is it more sensitive? All right, I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna just gently press on these eye shields and then we'll come down to your nose. That's tolerable. Good. I'm going onto the cheek. Crow's foot area. It's got to be a wonderful attribute to be able to communicate with the patient while the treatment's being done. No, I think so. You know, it's interesting. I'll, with with the with the other older CO2 fractionated CO2 lasers. I would often, you know, do something like a rhinoplasty and a nose surgery and then treat with the laser at the end of the surgery, the face, and the anesthesiologist would tell me they needed more pain medicine for the patient during the laser than during the nose job. So I think it's, it's really amazing how this laser lets me talk to somebody while I'm using a CO2 laser. I've never used a CO2 laser that, that let me do that. So doctor, if, if you're getting, let's say, acne scarring taken care of, and there are some wrinkles, it's kind of a two for one. It's the same procedure, correct? Yeah, for sure. So Christine, as far as the effects that you felt from the laser, how would you describe them? The end result? Yeah. I think it's great. Dr. Stephen Goldman is now with us in studio. Welcome to our home. Thank you very much. Again. <laughs> and Christine Alsenheimer is the patient who we saw in the video. It's good to have both of you here. Well, you were telling us in the break before, telling Joe uh, a little bit about this laser surgery and how it works. How long ago was it that you worked on Christine's face? Two weeks ago today. Okay, so I think we have a before picture of her. So we can talk about, Christine, if you even want to, why you ended up going to Dr. Goldman. What was it that you were most concerned about? Uh, mostly the brown areas on my forehead and the cheeks across the nose. Okay. Um, well, look, if you look right into that camera three right here, we can get, if you don't mind, we're going to get a close up of you because I'm seeing you close sure. up and I don't see those spots at all. How many treatments did you take her through, Dr. Goldman? That was her third treatment. Okay. That was our third treatment. And, and you could see a difference after each treatment, but with each progressive treatment, you get more of a result.